going to discuss the differential coefficient of exponential function that is e raised to the power x. So let y is equal to e raised to the power x So let y is equal to e raised to the power x, let it be 1. So if we give the increment of delta x in x and as a result of this, the increment of in y is delta y. So we will write it as y plus delta y is equal to e raised to the power x plus delta x. Now transposing y to right hand side we have delta y is equal to e raised to the power x plus delta x and delta y is equal to e raised to the power x plus delta x minus y so substituting the value of y from equation number one here we have delta y is equal to e raised to the power x plus delta x minus e raised to the power x. So now dividing both sides by delta x we have dividing by delta x delta y upon delta x is equal to e raised to the power x plus delta x minus e raised to the power x divided by delta x. Now taking limit delta x tends to 0 on both sides we have limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 e raised to the power x plus delta x minus e raised to the power x divided by e delta x. So as we know that by the definition limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x is denoted by dy upon dx as I have explained in my previous videos. So we have dy upon dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 and by theory of indices we may decompose these two powers as e raised to the power x into e raised to the power delta x minus e raised to the power x upon delta x. So dy upon dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 taking delta e raised to the power x common out of these two terms we have in the bracket e raised to the power delta x minus 1 upon delta as we know that limit theta tends to 0 e raised to the power theta minus 1 upon theta is an standard limit whose numerical value is 1 so here limit delta x tends to 0 e raised to the power delta x minus 1 upon delta x becomes a standard limit of this form so its numerical value is 1 so ultimately we have dy upon dx is equal to e raised to the power x into 1 so ultimately we have dy upon dx is equal to e raised to the power x.